we welcome you to Noche Enabia here on 2K Sports. From the attire to the food, the players' jerseys, tonight, a celebration of the Latin culture. We'll watch the Orlando Magic in this one as they go up against the Atlanta Hawks. I'm Kevin Harlan, Clark Kellogg, and Mike Fratello are with me at the table. And on the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. And with the postseason fast approaching, Coach, how much does playoff seeding weigh on a coach's mind? For teams in the middle of the pack, it means a lot. The difference between a six seed and a three seed is enormous. Did you try to match up who you might go against because it was a more favorable matchup? Without question, coaches think about which teams do we match up better with? The opponent just may not have a guy that you can't guard. You have to use a double team, which you don't really want to do because you'll leave someone else open, but you can't stop them one-on-one. -on -one. So maybe you bypass that team and hope you wind up playing another team in that first round. Great explanation. Pocket four. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Ball against Adams. Here's Davidson. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. The lead pass, executing one, takes a high basketball IQ. On the wing, Ellis. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Ball with a block. And now Orlando on the break. Here's Davidson, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Sticking to the basics. Hey, the fundamentals never go out of style. No reason to risk the fast break on a showboat shot. Absolutely agree. Just take those easy points when you can get them. Now, here's Adams. Nine points, last game out. Here's Vincent, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. First two. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Jay Vincent taking two shots. First one falls. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. He can do so much damage from the line. The defense has to be more careful around him. Wall against Adams. Here's Wong. Here's Gonzalez. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Gonzalez has got his second basket of the game. A slow start for Atlanta in this one. Six-point game. And how about the reserves showing up and giving the starters extra support? I was really impressed by that. Well, we talk about the importance of depth often. They exemplified how crucial having this is during that last game. Ellis. And Gonzalez pulls it down. You expect to get two points there. A little unlucky for them. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Hawks. Only five games left in the season. Let's quickly take a look at how the playoff field is going to stack up out east. We'll take a look at the Hawks. Unless they completely melt down, they should be in good position for a playoff run. Hawks have gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. 
Left side, Gervin. Baseline jumper. Jump shot is good. Gervin. Smooth shot by Gervin. Even if you keep him on the outside, he can attack you successfully. Ball passes to Gonzalez. And so Orlando again turning it over. The Hawks trail by four. It's Kervin on the wing. He picked up 15 points in their last win against the Supersonics in Seattle. And a substantial chunk of his scoring came at the line as they struggled to defend him without fouling. Now, here is Lambeer. George Gervin missing his last shot. Lambeer a screen. Here's Gervin. Rejected by Gonzalez. This quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Ellis surveying the D. Pass to Vincent. Here's Adams. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Lambeer with a steal. Good. This is where Lambeer looks to score often. He's really an accomplished interior scorer. And so it's Wall. He brings it up for the Orlando Magic. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. They played a very efficient offensive game, creating good looks and converting those at a high clip. Give credit to the coaching staff for putting together a solid game plan. And of course, the players for going out and executing. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Orlando shooting their first foul shot of the night. At the line for your Magic. One shot. The Hawks trail by five. Adams outside. Lambira screen. Shoots over Gonzalez. Rejected by Gonzalez. Here's Purdue. Rebounded by Ellis. And for the Hawks, they're shooting in the early going here. Pretty dreadful. 22%. It's Gervin on the wing. The pass to Vincent. Shot clock at five. Rejected by Gonzalez. Lambeer against Wall. Passed along. Gonzalez with it. And no good. The Hawks trail by five. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for him. And they need to recover as soon as possible. Here's Gervin. The Hawks again can't hit. And the D got super lucky he didn't drain that one. And it's Davidson missing. I think they were going for a little extra flavor there, ultimately coming up way short. The timing on the pass was just off. And as a result, the play blows up in their faces. Now here's Ellis. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Seattle. Adams, the pass to Vincent. The Hawks working the ball around. Here's Gervin. Rebound by the Magic. Rough quarter form. Just hasn't been able to connect. And that's the way it goes sometimes. Just got to stay with it. Purdue. Here's Gonzalez. Oh, and he parks it off the glass. Wow. Adams taking his time here. Ellis outside. They need this one. An absolute bomb from three-point range. And Ellis is really a remarkably consistent shooter from deep. Nice, efficient stroke. Doesn't get any better than watching him fire from outside. Now a timeout called by Orlando.
into the lineup for Atlanta. Bob Ethan, Chuck Person, Chris Morris. Here is Wall, still getting warmed up offensively. No score yet from him. Passes to Purdue over Vincent. Purdue, no luck. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. Trailing by two. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Orlando this season. Last season, they got swept in a two-game season series against this opponent. I'm sure they're looking for payback tonight. This was one of the few opponents who really stuck it to them during what was otherwise an excellent season for them. You're right. They've got to have revenge on their minds tonight. The Hawks trail by four. Pass to Person. Morris right side. Out to the right wing. Six on the shot clock. 13 feet away. Adams shot is off. Magic leading by four. Purdue the pass to Wall. Here's Davidson. There's the pass to Wall. Now Wall. Here's Purdue. Here's Gonzalez. Goes up again. He lays it in. Gonzalez has got nine points. It's simple. you got to get a body into your man. Box out if you want to rebound the ball. Defensive rebounding is about effort, trying, being willing to put a body on someone. It's stolen by Gonzalez. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. Up high to stop the alley-oop. Well, that's one way to extend the lead. And what incredible timing on that play to do just that. Huge momentum builder. That's got this team fired up. Orlando Falco. So a new group on the floor for Orlando. Second team foul. Substitution on the court. Concac passes to Person. Here's Best. Hawks passing it around. Back to Morris. Clock is at three. The three. And they'll get another chance. Out left to the wing. Person, the pass to Conca. Feeds it to Morris. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. I love the patience of Conca. He scans the floor before making his decisions. Here's Chapman, covered by Morris. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And when you're behind in the game, that's what you've got to do. Contest every shot and get stops. The Hawks trail by six. Coach, a tough stretch for this offense. I'd say they need to get back to what they do best. Right now, that's a question mark. A big question mark. Inside, here's best pass to Eaton. It's stolen by Barrett. And up the court come the Magic on the break. Pass to Bowler. It's rebounded by Person. That is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's best. Here's Morris. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Winning play there. Saw the opportunity to take a second crack at it. Outside Hood. Pass to Chapman. He feeds it to Russell. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And the Magic lead by six. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Morris passes to Person. Out 
to the right wing. Five to shoot. Takes the three. Buries it from three-point range. The rifleman, Chuck Person, shoots a consistent percentage from the three-point line. He's a sniper now. Hood, the pass to Chapman. Over Morris. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the match. Shooting for Rex Chapman. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. You know, Chapman is a solid go-to guy on offense, a guy who can really play either guard spot. I like his versatility. The Hawks making a switch here. Ellis has checked in. And so he hits both. The Hawks trail by five. Morris outside. The pass to Person. Here's Best. Barrett covering. Just five on the clock. Offensive rebound. And terrific work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. Just owning that painted area. I guess the motto is do it till they stop it. Here's Chapman, covered by Morris. Goes up from the top of the key. Misses off the left iron. Atlanta's gone 2 of 4 from beyond the arc to start the game. Ellis outside. Back to Morris. Pass to Concat. Here's Best. Here at covering. He can't get that one. The Magic go the other way with it. Passes it to Chapman. At the top of the key, Hood. To the left side wing. Here's Chapman. No good from 18. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Magic out in front. They're up by three. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. Welcome back, everyone, to the second quarter of play here on Noche Latina. Falanos. And from what we've seen from Orlando, what do you guys see? The defense playing with great intensity, coming up big for this squad. They put the pressure on early in this game. Atlanta with the ball. It's a three-point game. They host the Clippers after this game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Atlanta shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Good, Adams. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Orlando leading. Outside wall. Pass to Gonzalez. Over person. Gonzalez. That's good. Gonzalez has got 11 points. 
One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end, always in attack mode. Adams dishes to Lambeer. Back to Adams. Whoa, with a block, and he recovers it. Person no good. Magic leading by three. Out to the right wing. Adams against Wall. Kicks it to Law. Five on the clock. It's good. And that's 13 points for a train. I got to admit it, I'm a little biased towards the bigger guys that display that kind of shooting touch. Reminds me of my game. Well, you had that in your game, didn't you, Clark? Adams against Wall. Now the pass to Gonzalez. Floats one. Nice D from Wall. And it's Wall with the ball for the Magic. Leading by five. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Trying to extend this lead. Actually, they're doing more than trying because the lead is growing. Well, this is a key part of the game. They're trying to get some breathing room. Now, here's Adams. He's been a nice option for them offensively, and he's averaging more than 17 points a game. And Beer, good. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Outside, Wall fires the three. They get it back. Gonzalez, and there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Hey, this is a rinse and repeat, just like last game. He's had his fingerprints all over this one, looking totally dominant. He realizes his strengths on offense and does a fantastic job playing to them and finding ways to stay hot. Long kicks to Wall. A floater. It's hauled in by Adams. The Hawks trail by seven. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Pass to Person. Lane Beer with it. Covered by Wall. Here's Person. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Chuck Person at the line for two. And he makes the first. And Orlando making a change here. Long's checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Passes it to Gonzalez. Knocked loose. Pass to Purdue. From deep, wall. Here's Gonzalez. Rebounded by the Hawks. The pass to Vincent. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Pass to Eaton. Here's Vincent. Shot clock at six. Now Walt. Passes it to Gonzalez. And good. Coming off the assist by Wall. Now that's 17 points for A-Train. Major dominance, and it comes so easily for him. Fantastic at getting to his spots on the floor. Atlanta calls timeout.
Kerbin's checked in for Purcell. George Kerbin. Here's Adams. He kicks it to Morris. Here's Eaton. There's the screen. Six to shoot. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Here's Gervin. That one off the back iron and out. And a bit of a shooting slump here. I mean, he can't seem to get anything going. As a coach, this is when you want to draw up something that gets him an easy look at the rim, or at least a chance to go to the line. And this is what big guys like him should do, using his height to punish the D inside. The Hawks trail by nine. Here's Vincent. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game, and the basket is good. And, you know, he's going to take that shot every time. The defense has to respect him from the mid-range. Pass to Gonzalez. To the inside. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. You know, their offense has looked a little more tied together, more cohesive when compared to the opposition's which is why they're shooting a better percentage. Yeah, and give the coaching staff credit for how they are guiding this team, getting the guys to run their plays. Vincent misses. And it's the Magic's ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Long pass to Wall. And there's the pass to Gonzalez. Here's Long. Kervin surveying the D. Pass to Vincent. And the shot is long. The defense knows he likes the mid-range looks. So they made that as difficult for him as possible. The fast break buckets, easy money, and they are very key to your success. It's so tough scoring in this league. You run anytime you can. Irvin right side from about 16 and that one good the sweet stroke of the Iceman Irvin has this shot in his bag all with it here's Long passes it to Davidson shot clock at 6 he misses the mark. He's now six of eight. He had space to operate inside, but just couldn't get it to fall. Left side, Gervin. Has to Eaton. And Long gets it to go. And the Magic lead by 11. Terrific focus to get to the basket there. Surprised they left them that much of a lane to work with. And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks.
John Gax checked in for Atlanta. Ellis comes in for Adams. Here's Vincent. Eight points his last outing. They set the pick. Free throw line jump shot. That shot misses. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. That will be a getaway game for them. A one-game road trip. Very pretty alley -oop -oop. What a lob. My goodness. Now that's a pair of teammates on the same page. Well said. Going airborne for that connection. Showing great control and a soft touch to finish that play. Here's Morris. After the Magic pick up two. Gervin passes to Conkey. And here we go with the Magic fast break. Chapman shot is off. The Hawks trail by 13. Up top, Morris. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. And the pass to Vincent. Lock at six. Morris outside. From deep three-point range, and they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Magic leading by 13. Here's Law. Crawford is screen on Morris. Law kicks to Cummings. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Morris with the ball. Now guarded by Hood. Magic foul. Morris passes to Conker. Hawks passing it around. Just five to shoot. Oh, oh, with a 40. Big time throw down. Man. We talk so much about the defense of Lambeer. You can forget. For a big, he's a real good passer. Now here's Hood. Over Morris. Rebounded by the Hawks. Pass to Concat. Here's Best. Covered by Hood. The fader. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. John Best's got four points now in the quarter. And so Hood will bring it up for the Magic. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Now, here's Barrett. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And Beer with the steal. Here's Best. Barrett covering. Crawford with the steal. Hood with it. Guarded now by Morris. Hood the pass to Barrett. And taken away by Ellis. Only five games left on the season. Let's quickly take a look at how the playoff field is stacking up out west. Take a look at the matchup. They've continued to play strong basketball, if not utterly dominant, as the last part of the season grinds toward the playoffs. And it looks like, guys, they'll hold on to that number one spot the whole way there. Law, the pass to Barrett. Here's Law. Into the lane. Bullard, he's checked in for the match. Russell comes in for Cummings. Oh, 
Passes to Barrett. Four on the shot clock. Here's Long. The Magic again can't hit. That might as well be a layup if you give him that much space. You have to do a better job of taking away space from him, especially when he's lining up at a three. Here's Best. Nine points last game. Morris passes to Lambeer. Over Bullard. Lambeer's shot is off. Magic leading by nine. Here's Law. Pass to Bullard. Put up top. There's the dish to Law. Over Ellis. Law misses. The Hawks trail by nine. Morris, left side. There's the pass to Best. Lambeer down there. Goodbye, Hood. Pass to Best. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Morris outside. We've got 13 seconds left in the first half. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Kept alive. Lambeer. And so it's the Orlando Magic in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. We come back right after this. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. The Hawks trail by nine. Adams, the pass to Lambeer. Back to Adams. Lambeer a screen. Shot from 12. Rejected by Gonzalez. High arcing shot. And Gonzalez pulls it down. Orlando leading by nine. it down hard with one hand and hopefully that one-handed dunk gets him going i think that's why he went for it these guys need a boost don't they yep especially in a game this close no question passes it to vincent left side adams shoots over gonzalez rejected by gonzalez purdue against adams has to wall Dallas down low. Magic moving the ball around. The Magic need to get a shot off here. Rebound by the Hawks. Lambeer's got his sixth rebound on the night. They want to break this scoring drought, Mike. Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. Gervin outside. Purdue against Adams. Looking to get back on track here. He can't get it to go. Magic leading by 11. Kicks the wall. Down low. Adams brings the double team. Gonzalez. That's good. Hey, it's as plain as pound cake. Keep it simple. They want to see how big this lead can get. No such thing as running up the score at this level. Now here's Adams. The pass to Gervin. Here's Ellis. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Ellis has got five points so far. One thing that separates Gervin is patience. He can't speed him up. And if you leave somebody open, the Iceman will see it. Wall passes to Gonzalez. Here's Long. The shot. That's another rebound. 
and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. You know, I think that was a message sending foul there. They're not going to allow any easy buckets at the rim. Yeah, as a coach, I like that one. Make them earn it at the line. The Magic have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. First one falls for him. Persons checked in for Atlanta. He's perfect from the line this time. A big guy who can knock him down from the line. There are no easy tricks or hacks for limiting his offensive output. Atlanta calls timeout. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Gervin outside. Person against Purdue. Here's Person. Adams outside. Over wall. Off the left rim and out. Well, that's another low percentage shot. He's been settling throughout this game for those kinds of shots. Well, that's one way to extend the lead. And what incredible timing on that play to do just that. Huge momentum builder. That's got this team fired up. Adam. The Hawks again can't hit. Orlando leading by 15. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Wall passes to Davidson. Passed to Long. Down to five on the shot clock. Good ball movement here by the Magic. From deep, Wall. Bill Lambeer with the rebound. Lambeer's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Person kicks to Adams. Dishes it to Lambeer. to Adams. Outside Gervin. And a 
it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. Both teams deciding to change it up. Eaton the pass to Adams. Here's Person. It's blocked. And they get it back. It's Gervin on the wing. He's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game. Tries yet again. Orlando grabs the mess. Incredible effort defensively. No easy buckets. To the paint. And a strong finish with two hands. He's ready, willing, and able to carry the load offensively. Oh, and they need a basket in the worst way. I think they're forcing things right now, and it's why their offense looks so pedestrian. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Atlanta making a switch here. Morris has checked in. Pass to Vincent. Stolen away. Here's Wong. Pass to Wall. To the inside. Here's Gonzalez. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. And an important part of every team's game. And the look at the hustle stats for the Magic. At the line for two. And the first one drops. It's checked in for the Magic. He makes one of two that time. The Hawks trail by 18. Adams outside. Inside, here's Eaton. Lays it up off the glass. Eaton's got his first two points of the night. 
And with how effective he's been offensively, you'd like to see him be more aggressive. He needs to keep shooting if they want to cut into this lead. Now here's Gonzalez. And he has 28 points for the game. And Adams has got the ball here for Atlanta. They trail by 18. The pass to Person. Morris looking over the floor. Vincent the pass to Person. Here's Vincent. Six on the shot clock. Morris finds Adams. No good on the three. You know, normally he sinks those threes. Nice job by the defender. Not allowing him to have an easy look. Here's Chapman, currently averaging almost six points a game. Pass to Wall. The shot, no good. And it's the Hawks taking it the other way. Adams against Wall. Adams' shot is off. And the Magic with possession. They're on a 13-4 run right now. Outside, Wall. Out to the wing. Here's Gonzalez. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. Wall's got assist number seven for him tonight. Nice pass creating the opportunity. Great teamwork on that one. Now, here is Morris. Here's Person. Rejected by Gonzalez. Here's Chapman. Passes to Wall. to Barrett. Here's Davidson. It's rebounded by Person. Person's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Morris into the lane. Lays it up and banks it in. Morris has got his third basket of the night right there. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see. Ball movement. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. A double-digit deficit. They're going to have to play better. They need this kind of aggressive play. And now the first timeout called here for the Magic. So it's both teams making substitutions here. So it's Orlando now. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Fires from 14, and he knocks down the jumper. Hood's got his first points of the night. 
the Hawks trail by 20. Coach, they're ice cold on the offensive end. Well, something has to change. Morris outside. Here's Best. And it's Orlando with the rebound. And here's Barrett. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And Konkak pulls it down. Here's Best. Adams outside. Morris outside. Six to shoot. Eaton the pass to Best. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Another shot right in the lane. That's been their M.O. this evening. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. He just could not find the mark from the free throw line in their last ball game. Yeah, it wasn't his best performance at the stripe. He'd love to put that behind him with some strong free throw shooting today. And Orlando making a change here. Laws checked in. Ellis is checked in for Atlanta. Here's Law. And Barrett now top of the key. Russell kicks to Law. And it's sent back by Morris. The pass to best. Here's Concat. And he drops in the layup off the glass. I like the feel that Concat has around the hoop. Orlando leading by 15. Here's Law. That's tipped. Ellis against Russell. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. The Hawks have gone a perfect 7 of 7 from the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. That one misses. Magic leading by 14. Passes it to Law. Here's Chapman. Out of bounds. Atlanta will take possession. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. You know, that's about as good a defensive play as you're going to see. Instant reaction to get a hand on the shot. Beautifully done. And Beers checked in for Atlanta. Hawks trail by 14. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Morris outside. Best passes to Lambeer. The Hawks working the ball around. And it's blocked. One forty-three left in the third. Corner shot. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Atlanta's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Morris kicks to Ellis. Here's Lambeer. Yes, and it's Ellis picking up the assist. Lambeer's got six. And Lambeer, clearly a high IQ offensive player. He realizes when that mid-range jumper is the best shot for him to take. 
pass to Chapman. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Morris. Fifty-six seconds left to play in the third, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Russell. For the Magic, Crawford's checked in, and it's Purdue in for Barrett. Gervin's checked in for the Hawks. Fifty-four seconds left to play in the third. Lambeer a screen, five on the clock, and Gervin kicks to Lambeer. It's deflected, and so it looks like the Hawks will retain possession here. Just two to shoot, and here's Ellis from beyond the arc. Orlando grabs the miss. They led the game at one point by 20. Chapman the pass to Russell. Lambeer with the steal. Left side, Gervin. And out of bounds as the Magic will gain possession. Some nights, nothing goes your way. They're trying to compete, but they've been outclassed. Magic leading by 12. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Chapman the pass to Russell. Pass to Law. Here's Chapman. Shot clock at five. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Chapman's got six points. Giving up mid-range looks to a shooter like him, not going to help you get out of this hole. Yeah, time for a change because right now they're just getting beat up. And so it's the Orlando Magic sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity and they are pounding it down low. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Wall against Adams. Here's Gonzalez. And good. Coming off the assist by Wall. Wall's got assist number eight here in this one already. And Adams has got the ball here for the Hawks. It's a 16-point game. Lambeer with a screen on Wall. Here's Adams. A shot. No good. And Orlando will come the other way. Adams against Wall. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Magic lead by 18. Playing well on both ends of the floor. Stifling defense and dangerous O. That's a heck of a combo. That's what has built this lead. Here's Person. And a miss there on the triple. The Magic shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Now the pass to Wall. Salas down low. Van Beer on him. Got it done with the hook shot. That's 36 points for A-Train. You know, you don't get to see the hook shot too often these days. Everybody wants to shoot threes. Nice to see a guy go back to the future with the hook. Here's Person. The feed to Ellis. 18 feet out. Rebound by the Magic. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. To the middle. Here's Gonzalez. Sinks that one from the post. Gonzalez has got 38 points. Enjoying this big lead. And right now they look unstoppable on offense. Everything is going exactly how their coach drew it up. Top to bottom. This is the pinnacle of execution. Atlanta calls timeout. The interior defense has been very subpar, and I bet their coach is letting them know about it. Allowing far too many points in the painted area, they need to put forth more of an effort defensively.
And now we'll take a moment for our presentation of our player of the game, A-Train. We saw outstanding focus and really good energy from him all the minutes he was on the floor. He was determined to make an impact every time he touched the ball, and he did just that. Guys on both squads could learn a lot from what he did here tonight. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Vincent's checked in for Morris. Passes it to Ellis. Here's Vincent. Pass to Ellis. Lock at six. The Hawks working the ball around. Adams. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what. He's been awful ever since the second half started. Not even been a factor. Pass to Long over Ellis. The shot by Long, no good. Atlanta's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Here's Person. Adams wide open. The Hawks again can't hit. Not what we expected at all. He normally has that shot down cold. Especially when he's got space like that. Very surprising. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Hawks. An unfortunate misfire. Just dishing the ball straight out of bounds. Hawks have gone a dismal 0 for 5 to get the fourth quarter underway. To the wing right side. Lambeer with a screen on wall. Adams missing again. At some point, he needs to stop shooting threes. They aren't going down for him. Here's Long. Here's Gonzalez. Hits the target from 18 feet. Gonzalez has got 40 points. Down the stretch, when you need buckets, go to the guy who's gotten you this far. Yeah, he's been relentless. Adams against Wall. Will it go? And there's the call on Atra. That is his first foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Wall against Adams. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Second team foul. Good, Adams. And so Adams nails both of them. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. All taking his time here. The pass to Gonzalez. Over Lambeer. To the right side. Purdue the pass to Wall. Inside. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Beautiful reverse using his body to shield the finish. Nicely done. At the line for one.
And Zoellis will bring it up for the Hawks. Passes it to Vincent. Here's Person. Up top, Adams. Over Purdue. The Hawks again can't hit. Magic have gone six of eight in the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. Over to the left wing. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Hammers the alley-oop through. What a setup. Great time. I know what a finish. Putting it down with authority. Woo. That's just great teamwork. Plain and simple. Here's Person. Here's Vincent. Pass to Adams. Over wall. And it's off the back rim. No good. Really good position defensively and a really good shot contest, too. Couldn't have played it any better. Pass to Gonzalez. Hook shot. And again with the rebound. And he gets the bucket. Gonzalez has got 42 in the game. Well, that rebound and score right there shows me he's locked in. Maybe going back to the last game. He was attacking like this last game as well. Ferocious effort in back-to-back -back outings. Now here's Adams. To halt the run. Rejected by Gonzalez. Three on the clock. Here's Vincent. Purdue with the rebound. The Magic have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the final period. Great shooting down the stretch. The pass to Gonzalez. Here's Davidson. Pass to Long. Now Wall. Good ball movement here by the Magic. Here's Davidson. It's blocked. Now Ellis. They want to break this scoring drought, Mike. Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. Here's Person. Misses off the right iron. And uh, the Magic shooting it pretty well, close to 50%. Long passes to Wall. Pass to Gonzalez. And good, coming off the assist by Wall. Wall's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Man, he's got a lot of firepower right now. I mean, what a half he's had. Now here's Ellis. Pass to Vincent. Here's Person. He's guarded by Purdue. Person against Purdue. Here's Adams. The Hawks again can't hit. Here's Orlando now. Huge run right now for him. Going 19 to 2. Purdue the pass to Wall. The pass to Gonzalez. Back to Wall. Purdue with the ball. Passes it to Davidson. With one on the clock. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. How about the effort on the offensive boards? Remarkable job, Clark. The coaching staff really appreciates that hard work. Love it. Not just the coaching staff, but his teammates do as well. Great work. Here's Eaton. Adams outside. There's the pick. Shoots over Gonzalez and hits one. Maybe he's ready to get back on track. Adams has got four points now in the quarter. Knocks down that jumper easily over the taller defender. Not a high percentage look. Coach doesn't mind as long as you make it. Gonzalez passes to Davidson. One-handed, threw it down with power. Oh, he loves that move. An iconic one for him. Pass to Eaton. Back to Adams. To the paint. Here's Eaton, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. When Eaton is aggressively looking to score, he's hard to challenge without fouling. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
first free throw is good. And you know, Eaton at seven foot four, this guy typically overpowers defenses with his size. He's a, an excellent shot blocker and also rebounds pretty well. So he gets them both. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Orlando Magic. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Pass to Davidson. From down in the low post, it goes. Davidson's got 21. You know, I don't care what your lead is or how many points you're up. I think you should always be looking to add to it. Stay aggressive. Yeah, aggressive move right at the rim. Driving another nail into that coffin. Now here's Ellis. And Gonzalez pulls it down. All with it. Gervin covering. And there's the pass to Gonzalez. Back the wall. Passes it to Chapman. Puts up a three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. With him, the scouting report says you've got to go over the screen. Absolutely. He'll hurt you from deep. So you have to fight through those picks. Now here's Gervin. Pass to Concat. Here's Best. Crafty move. It's hauled in by the Magic. Purdue's got five rebounds tonight. The Magic shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. Wall passes to Davidson. Pass to Purdue. Now here's Wall. Here's Chapman. Guarded by Gervin. Goes up at the stripe. And Ellis the bucket on the assist by Gervin. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. Had their fingerprints all over this matchup tonight. Just an impressive victory for the match. Mike, no question about this one. Delivering a decisive victory here. They were able to execute better and made the most of their chances. Fantastic performance from the whole roster. You said it. And in terms of the season record, this is going to be their 18th win overall. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And look at the stats. Just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for A-Train. Giving him the business all night. Felt he could get a bucket any time he wanted to. Now here's Wall. There's the pass to Gonzalez. And he jams it with authority. They have shown up at just the right time putting the finishing touches on this game. This run absolutely closes the door on any chance of a surprise ending. That'll do it. Here's Concan. He blocks it again. And they're able to recover. On the wing, Ellis. Hawks passing it around. Gervin outside. Tries again. And it's Orlando with the rebound. There's 18 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And so the Magic can now just hold on to the ball. Outside, Wall. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. Mike, we expected the game could be a blowout. And, <laughs> and that's exactly what we got. This team is hard enough to beat on the road, but at home, they take it to another level. And that'll wrap it up, folks. So for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching this 2K sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you next time.